Well, I'm not in Aleppo. This is neither Rome. This is neither Eastern Ghouta. This is Damascus. And if you look at this house, this is barely one kilometer away from the heart of the city. This is Kabul area. Uh, it adjoins a highway. But what I uh, want to bring to the table for our viewers is that the battle was so messy between the state and the terrorists of Al Nusra and Al Sham that it was brought to the home. Uh, the lives of numerous people were destroyed. The mosques, library, uh, eating places, eating joints, households, everything was destroyed in and around Damascus. People are generally aware of the fact that uh, a very contested war took place in places like Raqqa and faraway areas, but war was brought home. The war was fought in Damascus. And most important of all, I think the story of war is about story of destruction of normal lives of people. Now, if you, if you look at the iron there, you will be surprised that the people are making money out of iron they want to profit from this iron now for example now if this is the iron then you you have a company here which will take this iron out and send it for the construction which means you break the rubble take the iron out so there's a war machinery there's a profit making machinery which is profiteering from the destruction of this house look at these apartments look at the places they're all residential areas but none of them None of them survived the onslaught of the terrible war which Assyria saw. And this war also tells us another thing, that the reconstruction process is slow. Reconstruction process is not going at a great pace. And despite the fact that a lot of countries perhaps may want to participate, the last Idlib offensive is also creating some sort of a hurdle. So, so for example, like this is a residential complex, but no one lives here and most of the people have run away. So this is a very sad story of war. Generally, these visuals look very uh, capturing uh, in terms of uh, attention of people on TV, but they remind me of brutal suffering and what war can do because war has no end because war in itself becomes a, a statement of purpose. And I think uh, Syria needs to get out of it, though the last offensive in Idlib uh, is still in a process of making. With my camera person Manish Srivastav, Kartikeya Sharma from Damascus for Weon. <laughs>